In a sleepy little village called Twinkleton, where the rooftops glowed under moonlight and the crickets sang lullabies, lived a starry-eyed girl named Sophie and her bouncy frog friend, Hopper. Every night, Sophie would climb onto her windowsill, chin in hands, and stare at the sky. The stars blinked down at her, twinkle, twinkle, like tiny winking eyes. Hopper, she whispered one evening, why do stars twinkle? Are they giggling? Or playing peekaboo? Hopper croaked and hopped in a circle. Ribbit. Let's ask them. It's a sparkly secret. So, with a blanket cape tied around her shoulders and Hopper tucked in her pocket, Sophie sneaked outside. The air was cool and the grass tickled her toes as they scampered to the highest hill in Twinkleton. At the top, Sophie spread her blanket and plopped down, Hopper bouncing beside her. The stars shimmered above, blink, blink, like they were tossing glitter. Hello, stars! Sophie called. Why do you twinkle? The wind whooshed. And suddenly, a tiny star zipped down, landing with a soft plop. It was a little star sprite named Blinky, glowing like a firefly. Blinky bounced up, her light flickering hello. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Hopper, she chirped, her voice like a jingle bell. I heard your question, and I've got a twinkly tale to tell. Sophie clapped, and Hopper ribbited with glee. Tell us, tell us, T.A., they cheered. Blinky twirled in the air and began. Up in the sky, we stars shine big and bright, huge balls of fire far, far away. We don't move or dance, but down here, we look like we're twinkling. Want to know why? It's all because of Earth's wiggly air. Sophie tilted her head. Wiggly air? Blinky giggled. Yep, our light zooms down like a speedy arrow, but the air, oh, it's bouncy. It's full of hot and cold bits that wiggle and jiggle. When our light hits it, boing, boing, it bends and shakes. That's what makes us twinkle. It's like the air's playing a game with our glow. Hopper hopped high. Ribbit, so it's an air party? Blinky nodded. A big one. On windy nights, the air wiggles more, and we twinkle like crazy. Blinkity blink. Sophie's eyes widened but why don't you twinkle in space? Blinky spun a sparkly loop. Great question. Up there, there's no air to wiggle our light, so we shine steady like lanterns. Down here, the air gives us our sparkle. It's Earth's fun trick. Just then, a breeze swooped in, and the stars twinkled extra fast. Wink, wink, wink. Sophie laughed. They're showing off, Hopper croaked. Ribbit! Fancy stars! Blinky floated closer. They're saying hi to you, Sophie. Every twinkle's away from way up high. Sophie lay back, grinning. So you twinkle because the air dances with your light? Blinky winked. Literally. Yep, it's our special hello. Hopper flopped onto the blanket, his big eyes reflecting the stars. Ribbit! I like twinkly hellos, he mumbled. As the night grew quiet, Blinky waved her tiny hand. Time to zip back up. Keep watching, Sophie. Every twinkle's for you. With a flash, she zoomed into the sky, blending with her starry friends. Sophie and Hopper stayed a bit longer, counting blinks. One, two, hi, stars. Sophie giggled. The wind tickled her nose, and the stars winked back. Blink, blink. When they tiptoed home, Twinkleton was fast asleep, but the sky buzzed with sparkles. Sophie climbed into bed, whispering, Good night, twinkly stars. Hopper curled up by her pillow, croaking softly. And as Sophie drifted off, she dreamed of bouncing with Blinky through the wiggly air, twinkling back at the sky. In Twinkleton, the stars weren't just lights. They were winking pals, and Sophie loved every blink.